Hey everyone, this is Dean and today I want to show you a really quick easy way of getting your signature onto your images. Okay, we're going to do it in Photoshop and what we're going to do is we're going to turn your logo slash signature into a brush. Now, as I said, it's really quick and easy. I know you guys are going to love it. It's going to save you heaps of time. So let's jump into Photoshop and I'll show you how. Now, you may be starting with a professionally made logo like this one here, or you may have just made it yourself. So it doesn't really matter. If you're gonna make it yourself, start with a, a white document about a thousand pixels wide, and then just add your text to it. The main thing here is that the background has to be white or transparent, and the text has to be black. So let's just go back to the one that I had made. So as I said, this is a logo that I've had made. Now, when they make you a logo, they'll supply it to you in many different formats and sizes. So pick uh, your high res version and it needs to be the black text and it'll probably be a PNG file like this one on a transparent background. Now, you can leave the background transparent, but let me just um, flatten that to create a white background. Okay, so the quickest way to get this onto your images is to create a brush from this logo. So the only thing you've got to really keep in mind is that when we create a brush, we're limited by the image that we're making the brush from has to be black and white. And whatever is white will become transparent and whatever is black becomes the brush. So if your logo is in color, just come up here to image adjustments and color saturation okay and then just desaturate it and just turn it to black and white once this becomes a brush we can brush it in at any color that we want but it can't be multiple colors now this particular logo was supplied to me fairly large it was seven and a half thousand pixels wide which is way way too big we only really need it a thousand pixels wide. So let's just crop this down. I'm not cropping it, but just resizing it down to a thousand pixels. So a thousand by 319, that's gonna be plenty big enough to create a logo from, now, uh, to create a brush from it. Now, if you are creating a brush, brushes are restricted to a maximum of 5,000 pixels by 5,000. So if your file is larger than that, you won't be able to create a brush from it. You do need to bring it down in size. Now, this is really, really easy. All I need to do from here, this is ready to go. So we've got a white background. Our text is black and it's at the right size. All I come up here is to edit and define brush preset. And I'm just going to change the name of this. I'm just going to call it Dean Cooper Logo. And just hit OK. And that is now created a brush from that logo. Now, before we use this logo or this brush, just let me show you a little bit more information on it. So if we just click up here, this is where we find it. So click on this to get this drop down window come up and then your logo will be the very bottom one now these these may be open there may be brushes everywhere so close all of your folders and you'll see the logo at the end there so we just click on that to select it now in here you can make folders so if you're making a few brushes we can create a new brush group let's just call it logo So that's created this new folder. We can click on this and just drag it into that folder. And it's now inside there and a little bit easy to find it. You can also save brushes and you can put them onto other machines. So this is what I do is I would save this logo and then I would re-import it into my laptop. So if I'm doing editing on my laptop in Photoshop, I can use this brush. So that's pretty easy to do. We just highlight the group or the or the brush itself. We just come up to this little drop down and we go export selected brushes. 
Now Photoshop will put it into the correct folder. Well, it'll put it into a folder that has selected four brushes. You can actually just put it wherever you want onto a desktop or onto a pen drive to move to another machine. So you would name it here and save it. I'll just go save. And then on your other machine, you would open up this little palette and you would hit import brushes and you would highlight it and bring it in. I won't bring it in because it's already here. So that's how you would move this brush onto another machine. So let me show you how we use it. I've got an image here and I've got that brush selected. Now to change the size of the brush, you can come up here and then just change the brush size here. Or we can do it on the fly by holding down the control and option key and then just clicking and dragging. Now the color of the brush is dictated by the foreground color. So over here we have white selected as the foreground color. I can flick those and now you can see that when I click on here the logo is black. Now I'll just back out of that. So if you wanted a, a colored logo, if you wanted it yellow, you would click on your foreground color and then just change the color here. You can pick whatever color you want. You can actually come in here and pick a color from the image if you wanted to do that. And the best way to place your logo is on an empty layer. So create a new layer. I've, I'll just ditch this one. I'll show you how to do that in case you're not sure. So normally you're just working with the background layer. So instead of putting it into the background layer. Once you do that, you can't move it or change it. So create a new empty layer and then just, um, yeah, let's just stick with that color. And we would place the logo down here. Now with a brush, we need to set the opacity and flow up here, make sure they are both on 100%. And then you can place it wherever you want. And now because this is on an empty layer, I can come up here to the Move tool, just select the Move tool, which is the shortcut on the keyboard is V, and then I can move that to wherever I want. Okay, I can also go into the opacity of that layer, and I can drop it to whatever I want. If you, did, if you decided you wanted to make this bigger, then instead of stretching it from here, I would ditch the layer, and I would redo it, and I would use the brush and I would actually change the size of the brush and redo it. So that's it. Nice, quick, easy one for you today. There's many different ways of putting your logo or signature onto your image, but I find this is by far the quickest and easiest way. It also means you can just create that brush and then put it into into Photoshop and you don't have to have the actual file on hand and you can transfer that brush of course to another machine which means if you're away from home and editing or working you can do it from a, a mobile location. So there you go folks that's a really quick easy way to add your signature or logo to your images. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're new to the channel don't forget please feel free to subscribe hit that little bell and then that way I can let you know each time there's a new video that comes out. You guys have a fantastic day and I will see you in the next video. Ciao.